Last Sunday, in the late afternoon, our Blue Sunday crew received a call out to a 17-meter sailing catamaran that had developed engine and prop shaft issues. Under sail, they turned back south and headed for the safety of Malulaba Bay. We met them just northeast of Majimba Island where they rolled up their foresail. The vessel's size and beam dictated that we use our heavy-duty tow line. Together with a bridle this provided a strong, secure and safe tow back into the harbour. Once under tow, Joe raised the blue and yellow D flag. This signals to other vessels in the area to keep clear of us. We are maneuvering with difficulty. Other vessels should then take into account that we are restricted in our ability to maneuver. Once under tow, we headed into the wind to allow the target vessel's skipper to bring down the mainsail. During this operation, we were delighted to have some playful company give us a joyful display. There he is. As we approached the harbour entrance, the sunset provided a beautiful backdrop to the anchored sail training ship the Young Endeavour, anchored in the bay. Nearer the entrance, we shortened up the tow to gain maximum control. This to ensure safe handling of the towed vessel in the channel and river narrows. It is always appreciated when other vessels in the vicinity give us a wide berth when we are towing. Sometimes, we operate our flashing lights to alert other vessels to our situation. Once in sheltered waters at a wider part of the river, our crew take the opportunity to raft up the target vessel. This is done in order to gain maximum control prior to towing her further and maneuvering her into a safe berth. You want to turn her up? Our helmsman, Ray, then explains his plan of action. We're going to go in and I'm going to come, the berth is going to come in back again. So the wind's going to blow us off a bit, so we're going to get a bow line on. We're going to get a... With light failing and the rafted vessel's tall superstructure, an 8-meter beam restricting our helm's view, coming alongside the emergency pontoon, was made even more difficult with the wind blowing us off the berth. We trained for these conditions, and in due course she was secured. Her skipper then came on board to complete the paperwork and thank our crew for the rescue. 